All right, everybody, let's just get this little video started. So today's video is going to be real short and really, I mean, like really short. I said it before, but, but today's is going to be short. So as everybody knows, you know, the hurricane's out there. So what is that? Hurricane Adelia. And it's raining out. We have coastal flood warnings where we're at, all that kind of stuff. It is running light right now, so it's not raining hard. But it's been off and on for the last couple of days because, you know, the storm is there. So, hopefully, I mean, like, the yard is just swamp. My yard is a swamp. My backyard, like, floods, all that kind of stuff. So, it's bad. It's all good because, so that means I haven't been able to get out and work on anything. So, that's why this video is going to be real short. So, I haven't been able to get work on the Honda and find out the leak on that or anything else. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you a couple of things. So, I got all of my stuff. Like, I'm hoping all of my stuff for my cars. So... Like I said before, is I had an issue where I with the fuel regulator. So I got a 90. Actually, I got like a couple things. So got some 90s, all that kind of stuff. Um, I did wind up. So, you know, after lots of searching and this and that with the Silverado, a lot of people keep saying the distributor is your issue. Now, I did open the distributor a while ago on the Silverado, and it was really crusty and kind of disgusting inside, so I'm kind of leaning towards what everybody does say. Now, <clears throat> Rock Auto is a good place where I do a lot of, like, we'll just say I do a lot of looking, because they have their part numbers and comparison and all that kind of stuff. So, got on Rock Auto, part numbers, all that kind of stuff. Then I started searching, well, like Rock Auto, that distributor is almost a hundred bucks. I found the same exact one. I don't have the original box. The same exact one, same company, same part number, everybody. All copacetic on Amazon for less. It was like $39 and some change. So basically $40 for the same exact distributor that you can get off Rock Auto for close to a hundred. So there it is, all brand new. Everything worked, you know, good on it. So hopefully we can get this staked in the Silverado and this will cure the starting issue. Now, still probably runs like crap just because of the whole IAC issue and all that kind of stuff. But once you get it running and it warms up and this and that, it runs pretty good. So my thing right now is just getting it started. So new starter, got a whole bunch of fittings. <clears throat> I got all the fuel line to run in the OBS Blazer. So I got 8th inch fuel line. That's for another project. Um, quarter inch fuel line, um, 3 8 and 5 16 So I have all the fuel line to get these, the OBS Blazer done. So I'm thinking that's it. I could be wrong. Now the only issue that I have is like the other day I tried to crank it and it started to click i think i talked about this in a video the other day so went to start it it clicked and i was like okay maybe the battery's just really low so charged the battery up as soon as i got the battery fully charged which the battery is good because i had that checked and all that kind of stuff battery is good now it doesn't even click so i'm thinking maybe one of my grounds are bad or dirty or something like that so once the weather clears i'm gonna go out Take all the grounds off, get them all cleaned up, get everything put back on, see if I can get it to crank over. And then basically it is install all of this and it should be ready to start. It's full of oil, it's got gas. I think I'm done. Who knows, once I get it started, I'll probably figure out something else that's wrong, but at least I have a stepping stone. So this right here, between the fittings and the fuel line, she should be up and running, or at least start. Silverado should be ready to start too. Then we can, you know, the Honda's a whole different issue. We gotta get underneath that and lay there for a while until I figure out where this freaking oil leak's coming from. So we'll deal with that later. All right, well, that's all I want to talk about was just, hey, storm's coming. Couldn't get a big video out, but I have hopefully all the parts to get everything up and running. And like I said, I need the Silverado up and running because I'm trying to go buy a thing or two and I need a pickup truck. So 
and also that'll help because I want to redo some of the stuff in here and I need the pickup truck to do some of the rest redoing in here. So we get the truck up and running, we can get a lot of projects going. So stay tuned because once the weather should be clearing up in a day or two, and then we can get back out and I think the first thing we're going to work on is the Silverado. That's like my number one prime thing. So I need to get that truck up and running again. It's been down for months. So stay tuned. We'll catch you in the next video.